Joys of Inside by Jason Patterson. It is remarkably cheaper to purchase your ticket online in the Polish slotty currency. So when the website gives you the option, don't select euros. Your ticket will grant you entry to upstairs, and upstairs it just looks like any other bar. It is a dive. The lighting is dark, but there is just enough to make out a few faces of the other guests who have also checked in. Hits 80s is more of a conceptual framework than a strict category. I soon find out it also includes music from the late 70s and the early 90s. Rhythm of the Night. Hits 80s, trap music, classics. On board, there is a sign that informs me of a competition. If I take a photo on Instagram and hashtag, then maybe next time, if I am lucky, I will travel for free. I go to the green Cafe Nero and get coffee. While I am doing this, I receive a text message from the bus driver asking me where I am. But as my phone is permanently on silent, I am not aware of it and it goes unread. On arrival, I find a parcel is sitting in my place. It is marked on the outside as an extra extra. I do not open it at that time. The room is comfortable in that once you are in it, you do not need to do much else. To the outsider, it may seem cramped, but you can push the seat back a little bit and try and stretch out your legs. This is different to last night, with incredibly slow administration and trying to deal with an ununderstandable complicated way with a bracelet, keys, codes. The space is really nice and big, but there were no people there. The lady checks the tickets. She's young and she's very kind. She asks to see your passport and quickly copies down some information. He then hands you a wristband and points to upstairs. She tells me I need to give my luggage to the driver and he puts a sticker on the ticket, puts the luggage in the luggage compartment. I arrived at the bus stop 45 minutes early, at 5.15am. I'm not very sure what is going on, and cannot see any clear signage identifying the bus company. I ask a man who is sitting nearby if this is the bus stop. He answers back something in Polish, and it remains unclear. Even though I'm very tired, I manage to take some photographs of the sunshine, the bus, and of myself in the hotel. The electrical outlet is in an inconvenient position, not at all near your chair. So you observe people sitting and crouching down in the dark to charge their phone. At the bus stop, I see a big yellow bus has arrived and she's letting people on. I'm glad I have not missed it. The lady checking tickets looks very tired herself. She starts shouting at another person that they have gone to the wrong bus stop. This couple look very tired. The bus attendant looks even more tired. Maybe she's not slept. In my chair, I play with the built-in multimedia system. The online reviews had warned me of diverse multimedia content in Latvian, Russian, Polish and English. The system keeps restarting itself, but I think it's just a small technical glitch. Yeah.